Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and today's presentation is more about being safe while doing science experiments than the actual demonstration itself. You can watch on YouTube and other internet sites fun experiments such as the classic Mentos and Diet Cola experiment where you get this great fizz and it's really fun. And then you might have the idea, what else can I mix in with cola and have a good fizz? Today's experiment is a discussion on the mixing of chlorine and cola together and why it is potentially dangerous and lethal for young scientists to do it. Chlorine is so reactive because on a molecular level there are not enough electrons in the outer shell or valence shell of the chlorine atoms. So when chlorine is mixed with another substance like cola, a potentially hazardous reaction occurs. Now notice the smoke. That is actually chlorine gas. And that's lethal if you breathe it. It can kill you. In World War I, the Germans used gases like chlorine gas to kill the Allies. Because toxic gas is produced when performing this experiment, it is not safe for young scientists to do, especially inside the house. Absolutely never do this experiment indoors. Notice the third time I added the chlorine, the solution literally jumped out of the bottle. That's acid and it can burn your skin. Also, there's an exothermic reaction, which means it's hot. Look at the bottle and how the plastic just shrank due to the heat. So young scientists, when you're doing science experiments, don't haphazardly mix household chemicals together. As you can see, the results could possibly be dangerous. Why not get a science experiment book, read through it, find the ones you like, and do those. It's a lot safer and ultimately more fun.